Hello everyone, I'm Ryan Tucker, an emergency ultrasound fellow at Denver Health. Welcome to the ultrasound guided regional anesthesia elective. The purpose of this lecture is to provide some background on the elective and to go over principles that apply uh, broadly to all the blocks that we will discuss in later lectures. I have uh, no disclosures. So why offer an elective in ultrasound guided uh, nerve blocks? I believe that the ability to perform these procedures is a critical skill in the practice of the emergency medicine physician. Uh, the benefits uh, for the patients are many, um, including uh, safety, as many of these uh, nerve blocks uh, offer um, uh, pain control for uh, procedures without the need for the procedural sedation and its inherent risks. Um, Nerve block procedures uh, can help you with uh, throughput, and there have been uh, multiple studies uh, showing that the length of stay for patients that receive uh, nerve blocks um, is uh, decreased uh, compared to uh, typical care. Another potential benefit uh, for patients is the opioid uh, sparing effect of these uh, procedures. Um, with the side effects and abuse potential of opiates, uh, there uh, is always interest in providing other methods of uh, pain control and nerve blocks uh, uh, offer a very powerful uh, tool uh, in this aim. In addition to the benefits to our patients, I believe that learning these procedures benefits providers as well. Uh, for one, these uh, procedures can be very rewarding, um, giving patients uh, complete uh, relief of their uh, pain and facilitating um, uh, reductions and uh, uh, other procedures that without nerve blocks may be uh, painful um, uh, to the patient. Learning these techniques I think also improves your uh, needle skills, especially uh, needle tracking um, in procedures that require um, a in-plane uh, approach. Uh, this may um, help your performance of other procedures like central lines, uh, arterial lines, and more. Finally, I think that for uh, providers, uh, doing these uh, scans and these procedures uh, uh, increases your understanding of the uh, anatomy um, and can um, improve your uh, knowledge um, of um, the anatomy that is important to many uh, common pathologies that we see in the emergency department. Here are the objectives uh, for this elective. Uh, one, uh, to learn the indications for ultrasound-guided nerve blocks in the emergency department. Uh, two, to uh, know the contraindications uh, to performing uh, a nerve block um, in certain situations. Um, three, uh, develop uh, needle tracking skills um, using ultrasound. Uh, this will be done um, um, in nerve blocks on phantoms, uh, as well as real patients in the emergency department. Um, in this elective, um, we will learn the doses, the characteristics of the local anesthetics that can be used uh, for these procedures. And finally, uh, we will learn to recognize the signs of uh, local anesthetic systemic toxicity or LAST um, and the uh, management of this uh, potentially uh, life-threatening complication. Let's talk a bit about the contraindications to performing uh, an ultrasound-guided nerve block. Most of these contraindications are related uh, to the presence of or the potential to develop a neurovascular compromise as a result of a uh, injury. Um, and so if the patient has a loss of uh, sensation uh, in an extremity, or if they have uh, abnormal uh, pulses, that indicates a degree of neurovascular compromise, and a nerve block should not be uh, performed under those uh, circumstances. Um, also, if there's risk of um, compartment syndrome, um, uh, an example would be an anterior compartment uh, of the uh, lower leg. Um, performing a nerve block um, would um, eliminate the uh, opportunity uh, for um, serial um, neurovascular examinations and uh, should not be performed in this context. Um, if the nerve block would delay um, other um, interventions, uh, for example, in a, um, a sick uh, trauma patient, uh, then um, the nerve block uh, uh, procedure sh should not be uh, performed. Uh, if the patient has a history of allergy to local um, 
anesthetic medications. Um, that is also a contraindication. Uh, finally, um, given the, that there are considerable risks of performing uh, these nerve blocks, uh, if the patient is not able to uh, consent to the uh, uh, procedure, uh, then um, the nerve block should not be performed. For uh, performing any nerve block, you should always calculate the maximum dose of your uh, chosen um, anesthetic and make sure that you have less than this amount uh, drawn up um, in your syringe uh, before actually performing uh, the procedure. This is a very uh, helpful chart that can be found on the Highland uh, Ultrasound website um, that has a, a table with um, typical anesthetics used, uh, as well as the maximum uh, milligram per kilogram uh, dose, and then the um, um, maximum dose by uh, weight. Another fantastic tool for calculating the maximum uh, dose of local anesthetics is the Safe Local app, uh, which is a app that's uh, available on the iTunes uh, store. Uh, this um, is a very uh, easy tool to use uh, to calculate the um, maximum uh, allowable dose um, of um, typical anesthetics before performing one of these uh, procedures. Um, and this should uh, be done um, uh, every single time before performing a block. A serious and potentially life-threatening complication of use of local anesthetics uh, for any procedure, including for nerve blocks, is local anesthetic systemic toxicity. The patient uh, should be on continuous cardiac and pulse oximetry monitoring um, uh, before, during, and after every nerve block uh, you perform. The patient should be monitored closely uh, for any uh, symptoms um, of last. Um, there is a, a continuum of uh, symptoms. Um, the earliest may be numbness of the tongue, lightheadedness, visual auditory uh, disturbances, or, much, or muscular twitching. Uh, this may uh, progress uh, very quickly to uh, convulsions, coma, um, and uh, even uh, arrest. The management of LAST uh, should focus on ABCs as well as ensuring IV access and medications uh, to support cardiovascular functioning, uh, such as uh, epinephrine. Um, intralipid is another important uh, tool in the management of uh, LAST. Um, you should ensure that intralipid is immediately available in your emergency department uh, performing a nerve block, and uh, you should not perform uh, a nerve block unless uh, uh, intralipid is uh, readily available. The dosing for intralipid is 1.5 uh, mLs per kg, um, given over uh, one minute. This dose uh, can be repeated um, every uh, two to three minutes, um, and a maximum dose of 10 mLs per kg over 30 minutes is recommended. In the following lectures, describing each individual uh, nerve block procedure, you may notice that there's some variability um, in the sterility of the uh, technique being shown in um, various uh, photographs. Uh, while practice does uh, vary uh, by location, uh, I believe that uh, every nerve block should be uh, performed uh, under uh, sterile technique. And so this means uh, diligent uh, skin sterilization with uh, chlorhexidine or a similar agent. Um, as well as use of uh, sterile gloves. Uh, I also believe that uh, all materials um, used to perform a block um, should uh, remain sterile um, and be opened uh, onto a sterile field. The following 11 lectures uh, are dedicated to each individual um, nerve block uh, procedure. These are the learning objectives for each of these uh, lectures. Um, please watch each lecture with these uh, goals in mind. Uh, following each lecture, you should be able to describe the anatomic area that is anesthetized by each nerve block. You should learn the typ typical clinical uses uh, for each uh, nerve block. You should be able to recognize the anatomic landmarks uh, that are um, important uh, for each block using ultrasound. You should know the optimal patient positioning and the needle trajectory uh, to perform each nerve block. Uh, 
And finally, uh, you should learn the correct uh, volume of anesthetic medication that is uh, required uh, for uh, an adequate block for each procedure. My favorite learning resources uh, for learning ultrasound guided nerve blocks uh, are also free and open access medical education uh, resources. The NYSORA website has thorough discussions of many of the blocks uh, in this uh, elective and is taught uh, from the perspective of the anesthesiologist. The Highland ultrasound website is uh, also a great uh, resource um, with uh, guided uh, lectures uh, for nerve blocks as well as uh, great uh, pictures and video. Uh, 5 minutesonocom um, also has uh, concise uh, uh, instructional videos for many of the blocks that are covered in this elective. Thank you for your attention and for your interest in performing nerve block procedures that can greatly benefit our patients. I wish you the best in this elective.